see this one's a lot bigger than this one this one's bigger than this one it's all personal preference however you want your puzzles okay. zoom in one time my pick tool is highlighted so I'm going to click on this line you see these black little squares come up again I want to hit the new the plus button on the numeric keyboard and that will copy this line give an exact copy if you, if you do not have the numeric keyboard you can come up here to edit and hit copy it does the same thing okay now that this is highlighted and you have your copy left click on that X in the center drag it over here hit the plus button left click and drag I want to zoom in you'll notice when I place these two lines they're not per perfectly on the grid so we're going to take highlight I'm going to zoom in some highlight no excuse me click on the X in the center and drag the line over same as this one highlight this line grab the X pull it over okay now we're going to make another copy of this line it doesn't matter which one of these lines I'm just going to highlight this one hit the plus button again come back up here to the mirror button using the, the top one left click see how I made an exact copy just mirrored it okay we're going to click on the X drag it over drop it hit the plus button again which makes a copy left click and drag and you'll see again these aren't perfectly dropped in the correct position so I'm zooming in left click on the X drag and drop same with this one highlight this line left click on that X drag and drop okay you have all your vertical lines made so I'm going to left click out of here so nothing is highlighted you'll notice right here is a ruler at the top and on the left side if you put your pointer on the inside of that ruler left click and drag you'll bring down a line that's stashed we're going to use this as reference only so I want to highlight one of these lines make a copy with your plus key I'm going to drag it over here so I can see it and work on it easily now we're going to turn this 90 degrees so this is already highlighted so on the X I'm going to click again and it turns these little black boxes to arrows so we're going to grab one of these arrows and turn now you'll see how this isn't perfectly straight so we're going to highlight this line bring it up to here zoom in a little bit click on this again to get those turn handles turn it some more Pretty level with that line. 
we're going to test it out and see exactly how close we are. Let's drag and drop, see ya, on the dotted line. Close enough for me. I'm going to grab this line. Now we don't want to put them right here because we're going to have three balls and sockets on the internal. So we we'll want to put it on this line. Scroll up a little bit. Okay, hit the plus button. Makes your copy. Drag and drop. Okay. Now we need to do the same thing, but flip them with the mirror button. So we're going to highlight this one. Hit the plus. Now we're going to come up to the mirror buttons. This time we're going to use the bottom one. Click on it. Grab your line. Place it where you think it should go. Copy it again. Bring it up here. Copy again. Bring it up here. Now if you scroll in, you can see it. I didn't place this line exactly on the graph line again. This one down here is the same way. So I'm going to left click. Gently pull it up. And we could do the same thing for these other lines that aren't exactly, but we'll just, I don't think you get the point of how to do that. Now we have the basic vertical and horizontal lines made. I'm going to box all these in. So come over to your rectangle tool. Put your control button down. Bring the crosshairs to the top left corner. Drag and drop a square on top of the graph pattern. Hit your pick tool. Now the square we just made is black and we want it to turn it red. So I'm going to highlight what we just did. Come down here to the bottom. Just like we did earlier. Red, hairline, and 1.0. Okay. Zooming in, we now have the basic pattern done. But you'll notice that the grid pattern, the graph pattern, is still behind the scroll saw jigsaw puzzle pattern. So we're going to zoom in with your pick tool. Make sure none of this is highlighted. With your pick tool, highlight one of these black lines. Grab one of these black lines. It doesn't matter if you grab here, here, and here. It, it really doesn't matter. So left click on one of those. Your grid should be highlighted. Grab your X. Pull that out of the way. Now your graph pattern, your grid, is off of the drawing page. And your jigsaw puzzle is almost complete. Now we want to group all these together. If, it, if I did not group all these together, if I wanted to move it, you, you see what happens. Only one line at a time moves. We don't want that, so I'm going to take, I'm going to hit my edit button, undo move, put all these lines back where they go, hit it, undo move, so come up here to the top, hit arrange, oh, excuse me, I almost made a mistake for you there.
Put your pointer to the top left corner and click and drag your left mouse button and you'll drag this little blue box that has dashed lines. You'll want to cover your complete pattern. So let that go and your whole pattern will be highlighted. So come back up here to arrange and hit group. Now what that does is you'll be able to move the complete puzzle at one time. It's just like gluing all the pieces together. Okay, you'll see that I'm not on the page completely. So if I hit the P button on your keyboard, we'll center it exactly on the drawing page. Unhighlight this. Okay, to get rid of this dashed line, we can put the, the pointer on top of it, and you'll see how it turns to a, a one line with an arrow at the top and bottom. Left click. Highlight it, right click, delete. And we won't need this anymore. So left click, highlight it, right click, delete. Making this jigsaw puzzle pattern is fairly simple, especially when you make two or three of them. Hope you have fun designing your own jigsaw puzzle patterns. Thanks for watching.